Hey Explorers, welcome to yet another video. We hope you enjoy this very bland background. Casey has no idea what this video is about yet, uh, but I've enlisted the help of her sisters, Audrey and Sam, to help us make this dream a reality. What the dream is, Casey has no idea, but I would like to ask you a question just so that we can get started here. Um, I would like to propose a challenge to you that is uh, equally as difficult for both of us, um, but the loser will get punished. Can I propose something? What? Can I go to the bathroom before we finish this? Can you give me an answer first? What was the question? Okay, I accept, but I really have to pee. So. There you go. Okay, God. <laughs> okay, God. Okay, God. <laughs> the challenge is that each of those two sisters has sent me nine questions. Nine trivia questions. What? Six easy difficulty, six medium difficulty, and six hard difficulty. The rules are you get one point for each question that you get correctly. If we both say the answer at the same time, we'll both get one point. But at the end, whoever has more points wins, whoever has less points loses. And the loser no. has to drink the rest of this pickle juice. Absolutely not. You no. already agreed to it, so... Number one, not the rest. I will drink... You agreed to it. I will drink half of it. You agreed to it. I didn't agree to and what... Now, and now the whole world knows. <laughs> I didn't agree. The whole world now knows that you went back. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I agreed to get punished. I didn't agree to you drink said, all no. of this pickle yeah, juice. Yeah, but you agreed that I would get to choose the punishment, and that's what I've chosen. I'll do half. That's oh. unacceptable. You're unacceptable. It's equally as likely that I will be drinking all of the pickle juice, not giving up halfway. Alright, let's see these Okay, so will you, will you agree to drink the whole thing? It's it's just pickle juice. It's actually really good. Oh for well. You. It's really good for you. It's been sitting out for a week and a half. It's vinegar. Vinegar preserves things. Let's smell it. It's gonna smell like pickle juice. <laughs> I just spilled it. All. Blank. I've come to make a bargain. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I know what it is. It's like someone, comma, I've come to make a bargain. I'm literally not going to say anything to you. What, what do we do if now there was no? Oh, then we just skip that one. Okay, question two. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin! Yes! Ben Franklin had blank years of formal education. Wait, how do we know if uh, the answers have, are right? We have an answer key. I'm going to say zero. Zero years of formal education. I'm going to say two. Two! Two! Dang oh it. my god, Dor Dormammu was the first one. Who's, who's Dormammu? It's from Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange? Yeah, remember when he has to go... Oh, I remember now. Yeah, he has to go back and back and back. Sam. And the first time he goes, Dormammu, I've come to make a bargain. I knew it, I just could not remember the heck this person's Sam, name is. I really thought you were trying to push ridiculous. like an anime thing on here, and I was like, this is not fair. But So one point for Casey. One, One point for Casey. Casey. How is it that I know more about your Lord and Savior Benjamin Franklin than you do? Uh, well, both of them were guests, so. <laughs> Mine wasn't a guest. You knew that he had two I mean, I didn't. Education. Okay, it was more of an educated guess. And I say that for some reason because I knew that, and I don't know why I actually knew that, but I knew that. Um. Way upon the blank where she died, all I ever wanted was your life. Mountain. What is that? It's a song. It's a song? From Red Hot Chili Peppers. We'll sing it. Way upon the mountain where she died. What is that letter next to it? That, oh, maybe that's supposed to be hard. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Sorry, Audrey. How many books are in the Bible? Uh, I don't think I even know this. Oh, no, no, no. It's like 106. I'm gonna say 108. 66. 66. Oh, wow. dang, and We're I was closer wrong. with my other one. What? <laughs> I know this one. Do you know this one? Read it out loud. It's your turn what to read the question. What shape is a duck's penis? 
Well, you go ahead and answer if you know the answer. Do you know the answer? No, oh, I do not know the answer. The shape of a duck's penis is a corkscrew. Oh, I did know that. Yes. Thank you, Tommy Horner, for that knowledge. You literally hated that question. Audrey, why would you do that? You know I... You, she's laughing at us right now. Um... What instrument did Dave Grohl play originally? Drums. Guitar? Ba bam Drums. Three, Three. points. Three! <laughs> okay. She put Benjamin Franklin in their own yes. freaking purpose. Thank you, Sam. Ben Franklin Good designed a, yeah. get out here. Designed a musical instrument used by Mozart, Beethoven, and more. He was highly disappointed as a result of it. I really wish I had studied Ben Franklin more. I just like him, like as a guy. You know, I don't He's know. horrible. He's yeah, literally no, no, no. horrible. No, that's why it's like you mean the it's things like, he did? It's like satire, almost. Liking someone like that. Yeah. Does not matter in this. What musical instrument did he make? Harpsichord. Harpsichord? Harpsichord. First of all, you didn't even know what it was called. And second of all, no. No, that was invented way earlier. Yes, in like the Renaissance That's era. Like, what was the question of what? The, what musical instrument that Mozart, Beethoven, and who else? Well, it couldn't have been that bad if all of these guys played it. I want to. S no, no, no. They used it like in their. Yeah, so it couldn't have been that terrible because it gained enough fame. I'm gonna no. say that it was a saxophone. No, it wasn't the saxophone. I know that because the the inventor of the saxophone, Alfredo Sax, oh, that's almost right. died like 70 times. No, I remember that. We yeah, yeah. you told me. It's about not that. the saxophone. It says true or false. Casey, it wasn't a. How was that my fault? <laughs> it was a true or false question, and she said it was like fill in the blank. No, I just read you said, it. You said you asked me the question. <laughs> you didn't tell me I just that it was read, true or false. I didn't know it was true or false. Kids Bob remade Don't Threaten Me With a Good Time by Panic at the Disco. There's literally no way I'm I absolutely I'm gonna not. I'm going to say that's true. There's literally no way that they did that. Because they've done Katy Perry mm, songs. I don't know, though. There's... Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm saying no. I really want it to be true. Because Kids Bop is, like, insane. They're, they're crazy. False. The answer is false. So four for Casey. Two for you, then? Robin Williams starred in these three incredible films. Flubber, Treasure Planet, Good Will Hunting. I've never seen Treasure Planet. I don't remember if he was in Treasure Planet. Well, you wouldn't know, would you? It's a cartoon, isn't it? I feel Thank like. Thank you for saying that. I feel like that's before. True. I feel like Treasure Planet is before the era of Robin Williams being a star. Like, I don't think Disney would have wanted him for that at that time. I'm saying true. I'm saying false. Look at it. False. Dang it! No! Okay, well, he's definitely in the other two movies. How long did the first light bulb stay lit? I'm gonna say, like... How is that a medium uh, question? Like a millisecond. I'm gonna say under a minute. I'm gonna say four seconds. It is still lit? I what? know! We did know that! I didn't know that. Guess we did. Yes, we did. We all had a conversation about it in GMC. How is that still lit? I don't know, man, because Thomas Edison's crazy. Like experimenting, and the one that's still lit was probably something really expensive and not marketable, but incredibly powerful. I just would like to say I'm sorry that I keep shuffling my feet. I'm in a very terrible position. Okay. You're just sitting. No, I was like, my feet were sliding, so I had to keep oh, moving them. Man. 1981. 1962. 1889? What? Audrey? What? Literally, all of these are hard. They're not easy. That's exactly what, what are I you thinking? from her. Yes. Sammy's, I feel like, okay, yeah. They were, those were medium questions. These are not. All right, go to the next one. What is a scientific name for your shoulder bone? Do you, wait, wait. Let's do the answer at the same time. Right, like right here? I think, I think she means the shoulder blade. I don't remember what the heck that's called. You do. You're, you're looking awesome. You're like. I do. Three, two, one. Triceratops. 
Multiple choice. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin belongs to how many halls of fame? She did this for you. Thank you, Sam. She was rooting for you, not me. I love you, Sam. 14, 6, or 3? I'm gonna go with 6. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't get into halls of fame when you're dead. And they weren't really like a big thing until later. Can you say the numbers again? 14, 6, or 3. Six is like a good middle of the road, but I'm gonna go with three. Fourteen. Ben, you go. <laughs> what musical genre was the vibraphone originally used for? Marching band, jazz, interpretive dance. Jazz. Interpretive dance. No, I don't think it was. I think it was jazz too. Jazz. Vibraphone. I'm trying to think of how long the vibraphone has been around. Jazz. Shut up. Wait, we're, are we on the hard questions now? Yeah. Oh god, I gotta get points fast. So what musical genre was the vibraphone originally used for? Marching band, jazz, interpretive dance. I'm gonna go with jazz. marching band. Jazz. It's probably marching band. Though. Ooh, it's jazz. Okay. Three. Okay, I need one more point to tie with you, and then we have to split the pickle juice. I've never even had just no, because then we have juice. all these hard questions. Yeah, I know. Oh, but I if we if we tie. How many colors do bananas come in? Oh, Did you seven, know? two, or five. Well, that's kind of a strange question. I used to work at Smoothie King, so I knew I know a lot about bananas. Bananas are actually the perfect fruit for humans. Um, they have the same number of divisions on the peel as we have bends in our hands, so you can actually grip a banana perfectly. And it's kind of like a stoplight warning system. Green is not good enough, yellow is perfect, black is no longer good. Why are you giving them a lesson? But red bananas, you really have to work. You, you have to watch out for them. Because that means that it can give you food poisoning. I don't remember why. It's, I think it's... I think That's it's, horrible. Yeah, I think it's like a bug or something that gets in there, and uh, the banana's defense mechanism, mm -hmm. as a result of it, it turns red. Alright, well, what's your answer? What is it? Seven? Seven, two, or five. Well, does this mean... A well, we got it, let's answer, say it at the same time, okay? Yeah, but does this mean, like, to, I mean, a banana can be green, it can be black, it can be yellow, it can be red? I don't know. I don't know if that's what that means. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, Seven. five. Okay. Is it five? Five! Okay. <laughs> yes! Audrey, please. <laughs> oh my god. I hope I'm not disappointing Sam with my lack of knowledge about Ben Franklin. Okay, now what earth note is the earth tuned to? Is this like. Hey, freaking the, what? Is this like the background? <laughs> I'm gonna say F. I'm gonna say F, what it's do not, you say? It's not multiple choice? No. Uh, I just looked. G. No, B. B. I'm gonna go with B. Okay. It's C. C. I'm so mad at myself because I totally knew that. I, I don't know, is it like the background sounds on Earth? Uh, or C? I don't think that we can hear it. <laughs> I think it's. Like if you know, if you actually. got a really sensitive tuner and you just left that out, it would be like, I hear a C. I don't know. Man. <laughs> How many ants are there on Earth per person? Um, I'm gonna. S I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. So like we're just gonna say the number to one person. Mm -hmm. Okay. And whoever's closer, right? Okay. Three, two, one. Million. One hundred and twenty. <laughs> okay. Is it? One billion. I'm oh, right. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said a million, but I'm closest. Guess I'm drinking some pickle juice. There's no way I. Five can... to three. Oh yeah. There's okay. No way. There's one question left. Yes. Right? Where was the first Starbucks built? Literally no idea. Cincinnati. Texas. No way. No, no. Coffee's like a more eastern thing. You got. Yeah, you're right. 
Massachusetts. New York City. Probably, actually, no, there's no way that it was in New York Boston. City. Boston. Chicago. Boston. Okay, I'm gonna go with Chicago, right? Seattle, Washington. It was on the west, exactly opposite of what you said, you butt. Ranked. <laughs> I was closer with Texas. Okay, give me the pickle juice. Well, I won. See, are you happy that you agreed to this now? I mean, I don't want you to suffer. But I know that you like this freaking pickle juice. You don't even care. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a... Don't... There's some on your beard. Don't flick it at me, please. Oh, that burn. There's so much saliva coming out. My, my glands are like... Coming out of your jaw is what I imagine. It's like when you think of... When you're like really hungry and really thirsty and you think of food, like... Like something with a strong flavor, like a Jolly Rancher. And it's just like a flood, you know what I'm talking about? I've never actually had that happen to me. Like that, that was painful. Mm, nice. I keep hitting things and I just don't know why I'm making so much noise. Uh, nice. This is terrible. This is really... Chug! This chug, hurt. Chug, this hurt chug. my throat. Don't, you don't have to chug it. Just take your time, man. For you. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> it's okay because I feel this like is. You're about to cry. No, this is part of it. You know, this is just part of the, the YouTube, of life, the you YouTube know? Central. We Circle met another YouTuber life, today. He has 105 subscribers. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. if you're watching, you know who you are. He's really cool. His name is what is it? Well, I don't know if we should. Why? Oh, oh, well, we could say the YouTube name. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know if he wanted oh, no, confidentiality. Name. Yeah. It's the Y guy. Hey, the Y guy. How's it going? Can you tell me why I hate this pickle juice? <laughs> uh, but yeah, his channel's pretty cool. He does some blacksmithing and other cool things as well, so you guys can check him out. We'll be sure to zoom in on that. Every time I have something gross, I have this natural response to like. I'm sorry, it's like when you put like <laughs> a like sticker a on a cat, and they're like. <laughs> Babies do that. Like when you put a smell near them, or you give them something to eat, they go. Like they can pull away from it when they actually can't. It's your baby response. Well, I drank most of it already. I can't show the label here. But I mean, you it can. It was like getting slowly more miserable. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I wish I could do that thing where you just like open your throat and just pour it down. So vinegar is supposed to be good for you, right? You'll be all flushed out. Mm. Our poor toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. We have to open up the tank and lift up the stopper so it starts to fill, but then it gets to overflow and you have to plug it with your hand because you need more water pressure to get it down. And it's just a mess. It was poop smaller. You have a seed on your nose. Oh god, there's still more. <laughs> you got a little thingy on your nose. It's done. <laughs> you want to get that off? Really? Where? <laughs> You've touched everywhere on your nose. Where? On the top. Other side. There it is. <laughs> there's a seed on my nose. Did you really just fling it? Why didn't you just wipe it back on the thing? Oh my gosh. That one was terrible. Also again, I just want to let you all know we still haven't forgotten to, to dress up as a cowboy and cowgirl. I don't think anybody's even interested. I care. I'm interested. We just haven't forgotten. It's just that we, we can't do it here because I'm talking. Excuse me. Um because we don't have the internet, the Wi-Fi access, so, you know, if any of you care out there, it'll be when yeah. we're back in Prescott. We're gonna be doing a video on, like, a day in the road trip and, like, our our trip, because we're going on another, like, road trip this over the next three days, but hopefully we'll find, like, a Starbucks or something with enough Wi-Fi that we can actually publish our videos. We tried to publish the Woosh bottle, which is the only one we've actually been able to get out in the last few weeks, and it took like two hours to publish. 
Yeah, and it's not even two minutes long. But the the Wi-Fi um, in Lake Powell is just very it, as slow as it gets. So we can't do a whole lot. Uh, even like texting and calling is you know bare minimum. So uh, so getting summer. a truck and a trailer. Yeah. And. We're also going to have to fix up the trailer a little bit, so that's going to be some really fun videos because it's a learning experience for us, mm -hmm. and then we get to show you guys how to do stuff on trailers, and we can talk about that, and I'm really excited to talk about that too. First got to figure out how to do it. Don't say stuff like that, <laughs> then it makes people think we don't know how to do it. Also tried something today, salsa on pasta does not replace sauce. Bad idea. Do not do it. Highly disrecommend. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, um, give us more trivia questions, make sure it's a little bit more difficult to get to the answers because we really had to refrain our eyes this time. Like the video if you liked it, that way we can tell who, what, what you guys actually enjoy watching rather than just, you know. Do it whenever we want. Yeah. Oh, that's fun too. Yeah. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Uh, it's the very beginning of July right now, so I don't know. Hopefully, we can get this out by the end of the month. Hopefully, we'll find somewhere where we can actually do that. But until then, we will wait. Boy, you'll see this. Bye. Wait. You always have to remember. Oh yeah. That plastic, plastic is, is evil. evil. Uh, we love you all. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Sam and Audrey, for the questions. She's opened the door while she's peeing. Hey, oh. can you give me toilet paper? She's out of toilet paper. <laughs>